This is part two of insurance valuation management for strata and commercial buildings. So earlier on we looked at insurance valuation. We'll go over that, that again now. What is an insurance valuation? That's fine. We've gone through the critical elements of what the body corporate or the owner's corporation needs to do. We looked at the case study and now what we'll do now we'll go into one of the sample reports. So we'll go through a report to see what that, that looks like. Okay. So this is a standard building. What's it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels. So we'll have a look and just see what um, what's in here. So these are some of the items that are in a insurance valuation. So three basic sections. Where is your um, insurance valuation summary? Base of your insurance valuation report, and also your report notes and site photographs. So this is a sample uh, sample report, which is the building that consists of 15 units with car parking areas, and the replacement value for this building is 4.6 million dollars so we'll have a look from the basic construction cost to the replacement cost where there's going to be a, a big difference between the two okay so the where we're looking at in the insurance valuation is looking at the critical aspects and what we need to do so the first thing we need to do is determine the replacement value of the building that's that's fine so make sure it, it complies with all the, the regulations and the, and the bylaws um, since the date of construction so maybe the updating of the fire panels or all the different regulations for that sort of building at the same time okay loss of rent and emergency accommodation so this is where we're talking about even in the event of a fire is there not enough money to look after for 104 week period which is two years Okay, so the next thing we look at is current trends depends on the when you do a review of a insurance valuation once every five years then the insurance valuation keeps up with your building rates and the changes in legislation for either say removal of debris and getting rid of the the stuff from site as well as the normal construction site of a building so this is one of the other items that we need to look at so this is when we're talking about periodic review so once every five years we're supposed to do a review of the insurance cover to make sure that's um, up, up to date with everything okay so we're looking at the elements that we use in calculating the building replacement value so the present building costs we allow for cost escalation while the tenders and everything come together the professional fees, the removal of debris and then the cost escalation from when the initial planning went ahead towards the final completion of that of the building so as we saw in this building here we had 26 months from going from stage one to its final stage so there's a fair bit of a, a gap in between here so the original quotes you've got to replace the building back here is going to be different by the time you get to this stage especially after you know you've got nearly two years that have gone past okay so what I might do I'll stay on that section from there no I won't I'll go through here okay so if we look at this initial section from here so we're saying total bill cost is 3.2 million dollars but by the time you go through your cost escalation you've got your fees removal of debris that's where it goes up to 4.6 so you can see 3.2 there's about 1.2 million dollars extra from your normal bill cost to just to rebuild the building as opposed to all these extra cost periods in here so we'll look at that in the next section because we'll run out of time on this one okay 